Hello my dear friends and welcome. Thank you so very much for stopping by. Thank you for watching my channel Ivan Otero. This is the Otero reading of course for all 12 zodiac signs for um, August 2nd 2018. So my dear friends as you can see I am fully equipped <laughs> you know for swimming you know and for enjoying uh, you know for, for summertime and I really do hope so that you are now somewhere, you know, enjoying yourself with your friends, with your family and, you know, swimming, you know, somewhere in some part of this planet Earth. At least this is what, this is my wishes, you know, to you. So, my dear friends, uh, let us try, uh, not let us try, but let us begin <laughs> with astrology for uh, August 2nd, 2018. Okay. So probably you already know that the uh, moon stays in one zodiac sign for two and a half days. So basically now the uh, moon is in the sign of Aries and will stay for a second and third of August. Uh, while moon is passing through the sign of Aries, he will touch first Chiron, then he will touch uh, asteroid uh, Lucifer, then asteroid Minerva and finally asteroid Diana. So basically what is the story while moon is you know passing through the sign of Aries? First of all Aries is um, your identity, your face, your image, how other people perceive you and basically how even you think you know of, of yourself you know. So uh, ruler of Aries is Mars and Mars is still in a retrograde motion. To tell you the truth uh, maybe you have you know some uh, something on your mind, you know, that you need to clear, you know, so while Mars is in a retrograde motion, you know, so many people need to clear something. Maybe this is clearing your conscience, maybe maybe you need to get rid of all kinds of stuff. So while the moon is passing through the sign of Aries, today and tomorrow he will touch first Chiron and Chiron basically is you know, very, very deep wound inside of you. Then then another asteroid, but, but Chiron is also about uh, education. Chiron is not only about wound and your inner, uh, you know, teacher. This is inner teacher inside of you. This also could be teacher, uh, you know, from outside. Maybe this is you teaching someone how to survive, you know, because Aries is, you know, sign of a warrior, you see. So maybe this is you teaching finally yourself or allowing yourself, you know, finally to understand how you can, how you can preserve yourself, how you can defend, uh, you know, yourself. This, this could be it. Uh, Diana want to be free, you know, Minerva is about, you know, knowing, you know, something. This is about your wisdom and guys, wisdom can come only, you know, in time. So, of course, if you are 55 or 65 or maybe you are 25, of course, you know, there is a big, you know, gap of 30, 40, you know, years in between. So maybe, uh, maybe you are crying, you know, maybe this is now you're saying, oh, you know, I'm so, you know, silly. Uh, maybe you are unexperienced, you know, in some, in some theme of your life, you know. So allow yourself, you know, to grow. Allow yourself, you know, to understand that, you know, tomorrow, next week, next month, next month or in a couple of months or maybe in a couple of years, you know, you will be smarter. Maybe this is about, you know, forgiving uh, uh, yourself something maybe you just done something maybe you're not very proud of what you have done so now you will understand aha uh -huh, this is you know a process you know next time I will I will I will know it you know better better okay guys so uh, first let me reshuffle my uh, deck and let me pull for tarot cards for August 2nd for all 12 zodiac signs for both men and women all over the world so let us try to see together what type of energies basically we can expect, you know. This is like general, uh, you know, reading for all 12 zodiac signs. Okay, so the very first tarot card. I will pick for tarot cards. I think this is much more faster. And this is very simple type of a way, you know. And then, and then I will translate, guys, you know, for you every single one of those four tarot cards for August 2nd. I will try to make a story, guys, for you. Okay, and the final one is... Okay, so now let me see what type of four tarot cards I have in front of myself. And of course, I will show all 
for their cards guys to you okay i'm a little bit you know surprised okay so the very first tarot card is five of pentacles five of pentacles is not very pleasant uh, you know tarot card because this tarot card can and will show insecurity inside of you maybe this is insecurity when it comes to your family maybe for some of you this is your job maybe this is you trying to find a new job and this is a feeling in, in inner in, internal feeling you know inside of you that you have nobody who will listen that you have nobody who is willing to help you that you have nobody you know in your presence who basically you know think of you or maybe is willing you know to take care of you so this is basically feeling you know of loneliness yes this tarot card often is uh, you know connected with is connected with uh, finances the next tarot card is eight of pentacles eight of pentacles is tarot card and basically you're 100 percent sure that you are giving you know the best you've got eight of pentacles and still someone is not very pleased with you maybe this is your colleagues maybe this is your boss maybe this is your spouse you know husband or wife you know someone is kind of not not pleased with you maybe this is only a feeling you know inside of you so something is cooking you know so basically this is you saying you know no matter you know how much i am willing to give you you are never pleased somehow with me you know so this is you asking you know how come why why you are never pleased you know with me why i'm giving so much so this could be conversation with you remember what i said to you early when i talked about astrology aries and the moon passing through a couple of asteroids so you know maybe finally you will admit to yourself that you are uh, that you are uh, giving you know too much maybe this is time to something give you know to you and then surprise is coming because we have major kind of judgment obviously august 2nd 2018 could be very you know profound way for so many people because you know after five of pentacles eight of pentacles now we have the judgment you know maybe you need to stay away from judgment generally speaking maybe you are very you know judgmental maybe this is you know someone in your presence saying to you you judge me too harsh you know try you judge yourself the way how you are judging to me guys you know or maybe vice versa maybe this is you trying you know to defend yourself maybe someone is too harsh towards you you know so maybe this is you asking you know how come this person is never pleased you know with me this this could happen guys you know for so many of you so you are ready to cut the ties with whoever this person uh, now is in in your life doesn't have to be in a love relationship uh, to tell you the truth i still think this is more like family ties this could be like a typical you know argument between husband and wife or could be with your colleague or maybe your uh, chief manager let me put boss this this type of person and the final tarot card is two of wands okay two of wands is rather good tarot card because two of wands is tarot card and energy which is described you know on on this um on this um uh, card uh, which are basically is reminding you uh, you have a choice stop allow yourself you know to think to look around for a couple of hours days you know weeks maybe even you know and remind yourself you have a choice you know you are not uh, you don't need to stay in unpleasant you know surrounding you really don't need to do such a thing so we have very powerful earth pentacle earth you know energy which is rather very stable and this type of energy does not want to change anything at all this could be you but this also could be you know someone next to you so like a person who live you know with you you know and finally you know two of wands is reminding you there is a exit out an exit you know out you have a choice you don't need to stay you know you can find another job you can find another relationship and even you know another friendship as well so guys you can see there is no cups there is no water you know energy and with this moon in the sign of aries for the next two and a half days i really really think that you need to address you know towards you asking you know yourself what really do you want you know 
Okay, now guys, basically this is our daily tarot reading. Now I want to pull one tarot card for every single zodiac sign by elements, you know. If you regularly watch my YouTube channel, more or less you already know what you can expect. By the way, guys, thank you so very much. You know, I received in a in the past, you know, seven, eight days, thousands and thousands of, you know, messages. Uh, obviously, you like very much so my new uh, background and my new, basically, style of my working and reading tarot cards in front of my camera. Thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart. You make my day, guys. So, Scorpios, Cancers and Pisces, what is message for you? Only for those three zodiac signs. Okay, King of Pentacles and Status. Career achievements and progress, obviously. Uh, you are very um, ambitious, you are very reliable. Uh, so basically for Cancers, for Pisces and for Scorpios, this could be a promotion. Or maybe, you know, maybe there is... Um, Virgo, Capricorn or Taurus, who is basically very interested into you. This person is very responsible. This person is very stable. This person most likely will never play with you, you know, because this person is about responsibility. Maybe you're already in a relationship with this person. Well, guys, all I can say is, you know, good for you. This is long-term type of relationship with very, 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 very stable men most likely even rich, educated, and, you know, family, family men, family men. This is exactly what it is. Okay, who is next? Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Let me see what type of message, guys, I have for you. Mm -hmm. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarians, guys, please listen. Do you know what is your message? Listen carefully. This one is rather good. Believe in destiny. Major Arcana, the will if the the will of uh, fortune. So this tarot card always signifies uncontrollable event of some kind. Obviously, this is someone uh, completely out of the blue entering into your life. And of course, you know you want to know. Okay, you know, who is he? Who is he? Give me, you know, I know zodiac sign. Well, guys, I do not know. And furthermore, the Major Arcana number 10 uh, will fortune does not want to reveal so you will be surprised not for better or for worse for better you will be surprised on a very positive way you cannot stop this person to enter into your life whether you like it or not this person is entering into your life guys listen to me be ready because your life is just about to change simply call it destiny. Who is next? Eris, Leo and Sagis. This is message guys for you. Okay. Eris, Leo and Sagis. Nine of Wands. Stand by. Okay. So, uh, my dear Leos, Sagis and Erises, you are already on a standby, obviously. Uh, you are ready to jump, you know. So, uh, there is couple of you, maybe even uh, not just couple of you, uh, I think that someone is already keeping you on a standby. I, I can't say that there is a person who is playing with you. <clears throat> I don't want to, to say such a thing, but someone is keeping you on a standby. Could be also fellow sign uh, Leo, Aries or Sage. So this could be a foreigner, this could be someone who travels a lot. So basically this is someone who will say this to you, you know, I'll call you, I'll, I promise, you know, I'll call you. And then you will think that this person will call you the, the same day. No, you need to be, you need to wait, but I can see you ain't gonna like that, you know, being on standby. So you need more clarity. Guys, simply allow yourself to have more clarity. Use your intuition and try to understand, is this person good for you or maybe not? Basically what it means. This is someone uh, with uh, you know, whom you want to have in your life, but this person is either, either very extremely, you know, ambitious, and most likely you ain't gonna have, you know, opportunity to be with this person every single day. So uh, all I'm saying, you ain't gonna like this feeling, you know, inside of you being on a standby. Uh, but there is no the third person. Okay, and the final one, 
Capricorn, Virgo and Taurus, what I have for you, Four of Cups, open up, you are rather very close, you are not uh, in the mood, uh, you know, for, uh, you know, much more communication, maybe there is something that you need to hear inside of your heart, you know, obviously something is bugging you, so guys, you know, open up, you know, open, try to understand, you know, what happened back then doesn't mean that it will happen once again, try to ignore fear inside of you. Also, there is a Pisces, especially Cancer, uh, maybe you're in a Scorpio for a couple of you, and this person could come from your past, still interested in you. So, my dear friends, thank you so very much again for stopping by. I wish all the best from the bottom of my heart. Book a private reading with me if you want. Make sure to subscribe on my channel. Thank you. And please share this video with your friends. Until tomorrow. God bless you all. Take care. Bye.